Hi guys, thanks so much for watching with me today on the SH Weddings YouTube channel. I thought I would do just a quick video because it is Easter Sunday and I know that I think in another video I had mentioned at the very end that I was going to do a video on Easter Sunday, but I think that part actually got cut out on my last video. So, um, so anyway, happy Easter to all those people out there who are celebrating. This is probably going to actually be posted tomorrow, which is Monday, so it'll be my Monday vlog for the week. I know that I haven't done one in a really long time, so I thought maybe I'd just document how we're all spending our Easter. So um, <clears throat> this past weekend, we actually had two back-to-back -back weddings, and those were the first weddings of the season. So I didn't put any makeup on, I didn't do my hair, and my voice is kind of raspy. So I kind of wanted you guys to see um, what I look like after doing two weddings back-to-back. -back. So really, really informal. Josh is like over there walking around, and my sister's like sitting right next to me on the couch. So, <laughs> um, And then my cat is like right over here. So anyway. Um, so yeah, we kicked off our wedding season yesterday at SH Weddings and we had an absolute blast. Um, we did an Indian wedding yesterday in Chicago um, at the Intercontinental Hotel, which was just amazing. I think the first weddings of the season were awesome because they reminded us how much I love my job. I, it, it's, you know, it's a really big gap. You know, our last wedding was December 4th and then we had, you know, like three months, not really off because we're always working and doing consultations and things like that. But um, it's definitely a gap, you know, when you're not doing weddings and they were tiring, um, they were exhausting, but they were like 250% worth it. It's just, I don't know, my job is just really amazing. Um, we were at our when we were at our Indian wedding. It was it was our first one, like I said, and they do so many interesting traditions, and their ceremony is so meaningful. Like it just it makes a lot of sense. The things that they do about marriage, joining together, their families welcome each other, um, and their reception was huge, and it was amazingly decorated, all like really bright colors, and it was just like. Oh my god, it was just really, really amazing. Like, we were just loving every minute of it. It was very tiring because it's, I guess, usually Indian weddings are very large, their guest list is very big, and there's a lot going on. I mean, the bridesmaids started to get ready, I think, at like six in the morning, and they were partying until midnight. And once the DJ made the last call for the song at midnight, they were still screaming and shouting because the DJ was up at the balcony and they were down on the dance floor and they were like shouting up the DJ, play more, play more. People were like offering money for him to stay until like one in the morning and it was just like they were still going strong and they were a very, very close-knit family. There was a grandmother that flew in from India for the day and oh my gosh, it was just so heartwarming. And I think it just was a really good example of um, the answer to the question that often people get, it's just a wedding, it's just one day, why do you spend a lot of money? Um, this Indian wedding was very upscale and the decor was gorgeous. Um, they brought in a lot of stuff, a lot of decorations, they hired a company to basically just decorate the hotel for them. Um, the question, or the answer to that question is why do you spend so much money on a wedding? Because it reminds you, it's just one day where it reminds you how important family really is. I mean. The dad gave the most amazing toast to his daughter, saying how proud he was of her. She's an ER doctor, and he was just saying how proud he was of her for being so generous to the less fortunate and just being very loving of everyone that comes into her life and always being humble no matter how successful she is. And it, it's just, it's all, weddings are just one big love fest. I mean, no matter what kind of wedding you have, there's always, a, even if it's just a small group of family members that just love and appreciate you so much, I think it's it's worth once in a lifetime to spend money to have that one day where you're all focused on just being supportive and loving and being happy for one another. It's just the most amazing thing. And I so teared up at like eight different moments during that day. I was just like sobbing during the ceremony and the reception and the toast and stuff. I'm like, oh my gosh, it must just be because I'm not used to like all these wonderful things happening. Because usually during wedding season I get kind of used to it and more focused and stuff like that. But for some reason yesterday I was just like tearing up all the time. So it was such a good wedding. I'm so happy that I was able to do an Indian wedding. So I would love to do more. I think they're so much fun. Um, I love the barat, the parade down the street. That was so much fun. Um, just super high energy. Uh, I don't know. I could go on and on and on about how much I loved it. But um, <clears throat> yeah, it was just really, really cool. So today's Easter and I'm like joking around, I'm telling my sister and husband that I'm in my Easter best. It's like <laughs> my nightshirt, my sister really is laughing. It's like my nightshirt, a sweater from Banana Republic, and then, I don't know if I can show you guys, my PJ pants, which are like little birds. So like, that is it. I'm not putting anything else on today. I don't have any makeup on. Um, 
we're having brunch soon. My cousin Marnie might come over. She was the one that was in the David's Bridal We Were Wang video. Um, and then Josh is going to make pancakes and hash browns and eggs and all that good stuff. So we're just going to chill for the whole day. Um, we already did open baskets and um, we do Easter baskets all the time every year. It's a big thing. It's always a big deal in my family growing up. So we did that. Um, they're actually right here. Let me show you my big thing. I woke up to this in my Easter basket. So you guys know it's already a good Sunday for me and it was gift wrap. I mean, it had like Chanel ribbon and then I opened it up and it was Chanel foundation, which as you guys know, I love Chanel and I think Chanel foundation is probably based on like all the beauty gurus that are on YouTube and stuff. I think everyone concurs that Chanel foundation is definitely up there. It's the best one. So did that. And then I got Josh this Jack Black stuff. Josh is really hard to shop for. <laughs> like, I just, I, every year I am stumped. Because with Easter baskets, it has to be little. Um, and for girls, it's easy. You can always just go with makeup or hair stuff or whatever. But guys, it's hard. Josh does like to try out different, like, skincare products and stuff, though. And the Jack Black stuff, I think it's really good. My mom, this past Christmas, got me the lip balm, which is in here. Um... And I think it's one of the best lip balms I've ever used. I mean, I still love my EOS, and I think that's definitely up there as well. Oh, he actually got me another mint cream EOS lip balm because I was running out. But anyway, um, so yeah, really high quality, and I decided to just get him like a bunch of different products so he could test and try them out. Um, the one big thing that I was actually going to get him full size was this oil-free sun guard, which is for your face, SPF 50. Um, we're both very fair, so sun protection is a must for us. Um... And then I saw this little, like, variety pack, and I was like, well, it has a lip balm, too, and then, like, um, a body wash, and then something called Dragon Ice, which is, like, I think a fancy icy hat. I don't think he'll use that, but, like, <laughs> my sister's laughing again. Um, <clears throat> but, yeah, so I got him that. Oh, and then I got him these beer chips. Okay, I don't know if you guys know about these, but there's actually a story behind these. Um, some friends of ours introduced us to beer chips um, a few years ago, and they are probably the most amazing things you'll ever put in your mouth that are a snack item. Like, they are so good. And I just, like, I'm not really a huge potato chip person. Like, I like them every once in a while, like a good sandwich or something for lunch. But I could eat this whole bag in one sitting and, like, still want more. That's how good they are. And we actually got them for our wedding. We had them in our welcome bags at the hotel for out-of-town guests. We got married in the town Saratoga Springs, which supposedly is the town where potato chips originated. So we put potato chips in everyone's bags, and we put actually these in there. And we just kept getting so many compliments about how amazing they were. People were like, where can you find them? Oh my gosh, they're so amazing. We were able to find them easily at any Whole Foods or Jewel Osco, which is a, like a grocery store chain out here in the Midwest. And then all of a sudden, like shortly after our wedding, they disappeared and we couldn't find them anywhere. We were like freaking out because it was like the only potato chip we actually ever liked. Um, and so it's been a really, really long time since we've been able to find them anywhere. I think you guys might be able to order them online. I think it's like beerchips.com or something actually. Um, then I was out in Whole Foods, not Whole Foods, um, World Market last weekend. It's last weekend, right? Okay, yeah, last weekend. And I saw them. And I like just about had a panic attack. I was like, oh my god, oh my god, the beer chips are back. So I picked up beer chips and I put them in Josh's basket. So I got him that. Um, everything else is pretty much just candy. I got my sister a bunch of like elf stuff, eyes, lips, face from Target. Like I got her the makeup removing pads. Um, I know that I had talked about the contouring blush and bronzer thing um, in one video. I got her that. Oh, and she just slid, she just like slid this over. Um, I got her a Happy Hippo candy thing. I don't know what it is. I saw it at World Market. I thought they were funny looking, and they're called Happy Hippos, and they came in like a box of like eight or something. So I put a couple in Josh's basket and a couple in hers, and she's like really excited about it. <laughs> um, yeah, so I just like I got her a blush and some powders. I also got her, what is this? An EOS lip balm. This is the lemon one. It's the only one that's actually SPF. I'm not sure what the SPF is, but that's actually really good for summer. Um... 
Oh, and I get this for everyone for like every holiday. The little M&M's people with like the little seasonal hats. <laughs> like, I don't know. I really like those for some reason. So yeah, um, that's pretty much it. So I don't want to like blab on and on and on forever about what's in our Easter baskets because most of you probably don't care. But I am really happy. I'm just in a really good mood because our weddings were great and I'm, like still on a high from last night's wedding and... The last song of the night before we left, we packed up early because they didn't really bring in a lot of stuff. So most of our focus was actually timing of the day and kind of wrangling up guests and stuff and starting things on time, which they did. I'm very proud of myself. Everything started on time yesterday except for one photo session, but it didn't delay the day at all because it was during cocktail hours. So we had plenty of time. Um, but yeah, so we finished packing up at midnight. And they were playing Don't Stop Believing by Journey. They were all on the dance floor literally the whole night. The father of the bride was really getting down, like, the whole night. Like, he was still going strong. He was the one requesting that the DJ play more music. So I'm sure you guys can see that it was just, like, a really great wedding. And I know that all of my other weddings this season are going to be just like that. I'm just so, so excited. So... I'll stop there. Uh, I hope that you guys have a fabulous Easter Sunday. Um, if you don't celebrate Easter, I hope that you've had a great weekend so far, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hi, Josh. Hi, sweetie. How's it going? Good. So, Josh is cooking Easter brunch today. It looks like he's starting the potatoes. We found, we found a... What? what? Why don't you interrupt me? God. I'm sorry. <laughs> Just kidding. I apologize. Um, we found this recipe. It's like a southern recipe. I think they're like fried hash brown like type potatoes for breakfast. So I'm really excited to try those. I think they have paprika in them. So that's exciting. What else are we going to make today? We are having blueberry pancakes. Are they fluffy? They are going to be as fluffy as I can possibly <laughs> Uh, and then scrambled eggs, but I have to see how many people want scrambled eggs. I think we're all going to want scrambled eggs. Okay, so I'll just want to figure out how many we should make. Yeah, okay. You know, like nine, ten. And then wheat bread, but that's not hard. Toast. Toast. Yeah. And then, I don't know, okay. strawberries, there's alcohol. There's yeah, we're, <laughs> my sister's like, do I need to go make a wine run? <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, you're going to chop your onion now? I'm going to chop my onion right so, now. So, yeah. Josh makes coffee on a French press. We actually got rid of our coffee maker because he actually likes this a lot better. So, he's been doing that. we got our laptop out here for recipes. Our kitchen's kind of a mess right now because, like I said, we were doing weddings all weekend. So, let me show you. Oh, these are my favorite things. These are my anthropology oven mitts and stuff. So, I really love these. Her broken toe. Yeah. So, my cousin Marnie just showed up and she brought Prosecco. And peach nectar so we can make bellinis. So I'm like really excited. So that's how we're going to be celebrating all day. And she has a broken toe, but that's okay. We'll just drink lots of bellinis. <laughs> it's, it's a crisis situation. We can't get the champagne open. Marnie has passed it off to Josh to see if he can do it. We're like, it's touch and go here. We don't know <laughs> if Easter is going to be good or not now. It's touch and go. <laughs> what? Uh oh. I'm scared. This isn't good. Oh, oh yeah, there we yeah, go! Yeah, yeah. Yay! I was gonna say, I'll, I'll break the dance. Yeah. <laughs> I do. Oh yeah, we're hey, in you a... know your sheet. I just wanted to wear my birds. <laughs> 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 All right, so the bellinis have been made. I'm really excited. There we go. Hi. Baby wants a bellini. Happy Easter. This is very exciting. Are we ready, babe? Do you want some? There you go. All right, guys. Yay. Happy, Happy Easter. Easter. Cheers. Cheers. Yay.